everyone welcome back to my channel i know i've not done a video in a while but everything has just been really busy there's been a lot going on obviously the school holidays have started but yeah me and jamie went away for three days to spain and it was lovely we had a really really nice time but i didn't vlog it because i just wanted to enjoy the time so i didn't vlog that but if you follow me on instagram you will see like my outfits and stuff on there that i decided to wear when i was there and it was just a nice little child free time before the school holidays begun but today we are on our way to i can't say right now because yeah it's because it's a surprise it's a little surprise um where we're going sometimes we like to do that just so that it's exciting for when they get there and they don't know what to expect but it's in york and it's yeah we'll show you when we get there but we're going on a nice little family day out it's quarter to nine we'll get there for about 10 ish hopefully gonna stop for a coffee on the way because i've not had a coffee yet and i really really need one but yeah yeah i'll be um i mean never go to and i never go to nursery now no you're gonna go to reception aren't you and i'm gonna go to class five in year two yeah you're moving up aren't you okay so we'll see you when we get there and take you along with us wherever that may be say bye, bye. have arrived and we're at everybody we? piglet's adventure farm we're mm. finally here we're gonna have lots of fun aren't we yeah yeah He's waiting for daddy, he forgot his sunglasses in the car, shock. He forgot them when we set off, so we had to go back for them. And then he's forgot them again in the car. What are men like? What are they? Bye bye bubbles. On the little farmyard trail now. Seeing all the animals. Some sheep. We have just got back and I am exhausted. <laughs> it's half past six. Um, we literally went from up until close. There is so much to do. If you've never been, you need to go because wow. Especially, I don't know if it's like just in the holidays to do certain things. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Just run upstairs. I don't know if it's just because in the holidays they do certain things, but they had so much on to entertain the kids. And the last thing that they did, the last thing that they did was the phone party, which obviously I couldn't really film because there's lots of children there. But yeah, it was amazing. They had like really good music on, got the kids dancing, and then they had foam on for like 20 minutes. It was unreal. Like Spencer really, really loved it. And 
I actually cried under my sunglasses because you know when your kids are having a really good time and you just it makes you so emotional like you just think taking them on this day out and they've loved every second like they were all so good Emmy napped without any fuss in the push chair for an hour and then she was happy as Larry like just with everything and obviously you can go on a day out sometimes and there's always one that's tired one that's moaning one that's something else but for the first time in ages they were all good as gold and just had the best time so definitely definitely recommend I can't wait to go back again it was so much fun like there was just so much to do like there was trails like it's all mass it's all like outdoor so there's loads of little bits like mini golf go-karting play area and then there's the bouncing pillows and they've got a maze where you have to find things and then they had this like little um like sand pit where you had to find all these like little stones different colors and then the boys wanted to bring some home so you, you basically buy five for three pounds so they bought those home and then oh my god the food there's so nice so we took the kids lunch boxes and they had lunchables crisps and we took some drinks with us as well and so me and jamie obviously we didn't take anything with us so we got a pizza and some curly fries and the pizza was 10 out of 10 you will have seen on the video wow it was really really nice and we got some really nice ice creams it was actually unreal emmy woke up halfway through eating mine which i was glad about because i didn't want her to miss out but i just gave her the rest of mine anyway and she absolutely loved it and then yeah just all around like you will have seen in the clips obviously a lot of it but they just had the best time so we let them choose a little cuddly toy on the way out in the shop and they both chose a pig each which is good because they can't argue over it now although they'll probably argue about whose is whose at some point and then emmy chose some bubbles she's obsessed with bubbles and then they had a little picture of a rainbow on and she's obsessed with rainbows so she was happy with hers um but yeah we just got home the kids are having their tea a late tea and they're gonna go straight to bed we're just gonna have showers in the morning because honestly they're so tired and i'm just about to get in my comfies take my makeup off and jamie's just about to cook tea for us and then we're gonna chill but wow what a day it's actually been so much fun though I'll probably pick up the camera again tomorrow but i best go and see what they're all up to hello guys it's the next day now it's 20 past 12 and i'm just on my way to a shopping centre called the White Rose Centre which is about half an hour away from me and I need to take back the new look stuff that I got for a haul that I did. I usually work with new look every month and I post stuff for them and then they send me a voucher so I don't usually have to take stuff back but last month I just had a busy month and I didn't get a chance to post anything for them so I went to New Look the other day and I bought £150 worth of clothes and I'm taking the majority of it back because I've filmed my haul now so I even tell them to be honest like when they ask when I'm, why I'm returning I just say that I work with New Look on Instagram um, and I do hauls and then sometimes I return some bits and they're always fine with it anyway because I think they just expect it like I don't like to just lie and be like oh I don't like any of it like <laughs> because it's a lot of clothes to just return in one so i'm on my way there now and i'm going to go into primark i'm hoping praying that rita aura has vanished from primark and there's some new in bits i've seen some gorgeous gorgeous hauls on instagram and tiktok of primark and even like autumn stuff coming in and yeah the white the white rose primark is big but the Leeds one's better but I really cannot be asked going to Leeds because it just takes longer to park up and to get in there and yeah and to be honest it's just started like spitting raining so I want to be indoors because I've got shorts on I thought I'd bring you along with me I'm gonna get back on my YouTube now I'm back into it I'm gonna hope to anyway I know that I just I really need to just buy a camera for YouTube because go on because the storage on my phone just isn't letting me save the videos so like i'm filming loads but i can't post it so it's really frustrating and 
I do like to pick up the camera and vlog because it motivates me and you all like to share bits and pieces. God, what's going on here? Ambulance. And yeah, I want to be able to share it all and be able to actually film stuff and upload it. So yeah, I'm going to go to White Rose, hopefully get a chance to nip into Zara and H&M as well. Jamie's at home with the kids, he's back at work tomorrow and then for the rest of the week so I just think it's only fair that it's my chance to just get out by myself and do the bits that I need to do because I won't get a chance for the rest of the week. I'll just take you along with me. So shopping was a big fat fail as you will have seen in the clips there wasn't really much going on to be honest i managed to get a couple of bits from zara in the sale i actually got some jeans for five pound 99 some wide leg jeans and they're like a dark blue so i don't have those yet and yeah i just thought what a bargain and then i got another leopard print top <laughs> this is the top so it's like a fine knit material with long sleeves and i'm going out on saturday to manchester i'm going to that phoenix place don't know if you've heard of it it's relatively new but it looks amazing it's my friend's birthday so i thought i could wear this with my zara dark blue denim skirt my leopard print heels and a black bag possibly this bag with it and then loads of gold loads of gold 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 loads of gold jewelry to go with it as well but yeah this was literally 5.99 as well reduced from bloody hell 29.99 that was i wouldn't have paid that for it but it's like sort of like a sheer knit so it's quite sheer so i thought that would be nice I took all my stuff back to New Look. As you all know me by now, whenever I do a shopping trip, I always treat myself to a McDonald's drive through Well, nine times out of ten I do. And they've got an offer on at the minute. Three for three pounds. So I got some chips, some nuggets and a cheeseburger for three pounds, which I think is just amazing. And I feel like that's what McDonald's should be about anyway. Like it should still be that cheap. Like that's what we used to pay for stuff probably like a pound for like some chips and now it's like two pound do have some new garlic dippers which looked so nice but i didn't want to film myself too much because it is three o'clock and i will be having tea probably not till about half six seven to be fair starving i've not eaten today i've just had a packet of crisps which is so unhealthy of me and i'm waffling it down because I do need to get home to be fair. Okay, tomorrow's Thursday. I've got no plans. I'm not sure what I'm going to do actually. I might get the car off my mum and maybe go to a play gym or something. But I don't want to stay in tomorrow with the kids all day. It gets a bit much in the holidays, but then also it gets a bit expensive going out all the time. So I'll carry on my week with you because I can just sort of do a week with what it's like in the holidays with the kids and stuff like that. But I'm gonna <laughs> gonna finish my McDonald's. Having for your tea? No. Are you having pasta? No. 
Can you say pasta? No. No. Rabbit. No, that's Spencer. morning guys monday morning i have just pulled up to bnm as you can see in the background i'm gonna go and have a look in there because as i mentioned in my last vlog i'm looking at just getting my house sort of ready for autumn winter getting it cozier and just doing the little bits that i want to do and yeah just get back on it i'm also <laughs> I've got my retainers in by the way sometimes you can tell sometimes you can't and you probably can't but I can tell when I'm talking but yeah I've been quite consistent with them at the moment so I'm trying to carry on because at the end of the day like I want straight teeth so I need to just remember to put them back in after I've eaten that's when I keep forgetting but yeah I'm gonna go and have a look in B&M Home Bargains is across the road and then I might pop into B&Q which is there to look at the panelling kits and just sort of see what's what really um it's 10 to 9 now and meeting sophie at half 10 so i've just got a bit of time to kill and i thought i'd just get up bright and early seeing as i don't have the kids like to just get up get ready and leave the house it took me 20 minutes literally 20 minutes so yeah i'll take you along with me Oh guys, look at all the art and stuff coming. This is nice. I think I'm going to get one of these because I need a new diffuser. And I really like that little pop that it goes in. It's only a fiver. God, this is so cute for Emmy's bedroom. And they've got yellow and purple. 
Oh my god, I'm sorry. How cute. Anyone that wants to know, these blinds have not been in stock for ages. I got them for the boys' room and the living room. Such a bargain and they've just come back in. It's a cute for the little room. This is so cute. This is so cute. But I have to remember it is coming into autumn season. <laughs> these are nice little basic cups. That bedding looks nice. Nice little white waffles there. Quite nice ones actually. Oh, I've already got this one in cream. I'm so disappointed. There's nothing here. This is a cute little candle. This is more like it. This is the one I was looking for, 9 99 for this pebble mirror. Right, so I got the diffuser from b and I've got the mirror from Home Bargains. So now I'm gonna go to Dunelm and see what's there. There were loads of like little pumpkin bits in Home Bargains and I was tempted to buy them because I feel like they'll just sell out. But at the same time, I'm like, it's August. <laughs> um, anyway, let's go to Dunelm. I have come to the range instead because there's a TK Max. I might go to Dunelm on the way past if I have time, but I'm going to go into the range and have a quick look. So usually I've got like halloween -y stuff, autumn stuff. To be fair, I'm not really into Halloween. It's more autumn, like the whole spooky stuff I'm not into. I only am for the boys. Um, well, the kids now. I'm so used to saying the boys, obviously, Emmy. Why is it raining? Can you hear that? I might be able to run out, run in quickly without getting soaking wet. Absolutely cannot cope with this shopping board. How cute is that? We're in the range now. Oh my god, an acorn mug. These are really cute. Only $5.99, nice little decoration. I think these are really cute. Like, you're supposed to think colour them in or do something with them, but I think they're just cute for decoration anyway. Oh, these little make your own wreath kits. Got some knitted pumpkins, cute. I wanted this table for so long in my living room. I really wanted to see it in person first to see how big it was. And it looks like a good size. I don't know what Jamie's going to think of it, but I really want it. Do you know what? I see that trip as a mighty success because I got my little diffuser, which was nice. I really like this. And I was just so happy to see all the autumn pumpkin stuff in the stores. Like, I think I'll probably go back next week and maybe get a few pumpkin stuff and just put it away until probably, I bet people start getting it out like mid-September. Um because I feel like it'll all sell out and I really want to get some cute bits for like the living room and the kitchen. And I do have some from last year, but it's nice to get a few new bits, but I got the coffee table as well. I don't know what Jamie's going to think about that. Like I always do stuff like this and Jamie's like, oh my God, what have you got now? Like, what have you done that for? But then most of the time he does actually end up liking it, end up liking it anyway. So it's like, well, I told you, you've just got to see things. So I'm going to try to put the table up when I get home, but I've just got to the place where I'm meeting Sophie now. I'm going to get some breakfast because I've literally not eaten, get a nice coffee because I've not had a coffee yet and have a good catch up so i will catch you after right i've been for my coffee with sophie we had a good catch up really nice to see her she's gone to pick her little girl up from nursery now so i'm gonna head to b and q and dunelm i've not been i was gonna go to b and q but i didn't and now i think i just want to go get no i'm gonna go to dunelm first actually because you want to have a look and see if they've got a wooden draining board you know for the sink in the kitchen i've got a metal one at the moment and i just hate it and i want to get a wooden one to go with the wooden floor and the little wooden bits that i've got but they're actually really hard to find but apparently dunelm have them 
I'm hoping they have it in store. I don't know if they will. And I want to see if they've got any rugs in there to have a look at for the living room, potentially. But yeah, I do need to get some paint. I'm just not sure what colour to get for the living room. I have seen the Egyptian cotton a lot on people's videos and stuff. I'm just so scared to paint it and then not like it. But then I guess you can just paint one wall and if you don't like it paint it back so let's go guys i'm now home and i've just found the most gorgeous footstool slash storage basket not basket anyway in Dunelm, it was reduced and wow let me show you the camera really is not doing it justice and obviously it's got the odd mark on it which i'm going to get the dr beckenham stain remover on but it is actually really big like it's a really good size and the good thing about it is on the other side when you tip it up this side it's got like this on top which is like a little table so if you're not using it for your feet or for storage you can just flip it over and you can put like drinks on there and stuff which i think is really really good um and i think it just ties in nicely like with the room i'm just about to sort out these baskets on both sides because they are just getting full of crap now um but yeah i just think it looks really cute i wasn't sure i'm still not sure if i'm going to keep it in my living room or not yet just because i've bought this coffee table and i think it'll be too much but if not it can go in my bedroom because i think we're going to get i think we're going to get rid of the desk in our bedroom with the apple tv on because we literally never use it and it's a waste of space so i could have that in the corner of my bedroom then with like my mirror and stuff but now i'm just debating whether i need the coffee table like i might use and have just have this down here instead because i saw this after <laughs> um so now i'm not sure i feel like i need to build the coffee table to see what it looks like but then i don't know if i could take it back if i've put it up or not um so yeah good morning everyone it's sunday morning i'm just on my way to b and q i know i've said so many times in the vlog that i'm gonna just panel my kitchen <laughs> but today is the day i'm gonna do it because jamie's at home and i'm not working till four so i've got a good five hours and it doesn't even take long anyway from like the videos and stuff that I've watched and I'm sick of looking at that plain wall in my um, kitchen it needs something on it so I'm heading there now but I've just got the fear like do you ever get the fear when you go into like a place like B&Q as a woman getting something like panelling that you feel like people are looking at you like oh, she doesn't know what she's doing is that me just being paranoid but anyway i've already got the no nails glue and the gun thing for it because i got that ages ago and i've also got like the polyfiller is it called i need to get some sandpaper because there's a few bits on the wall i need to sand down from where i filled in a couple of holes and i just need to get the paneling kit and a prime and then obviously the paint i'm not sure which paint to go for yet so i've obviously tested the egyptian cotton i think it is and i really like the color but i'm not sure if it's a bit too dark for what i'm wanting but then i've seen is it skimming stone i think i've seen on a few people's and that's meant to be a bit lighter so i'm going to compare them in the shop and have a quick look and see which i prefer and get one but yeah i'm gonna get the paneling kit i'm just gonna do the kitchen for now because the back wall in the living room i'm not sure if i need to do that one because the living room is quite small anyway and i don't want to like overcrowd it with stuff so i feel like i might just get like a radiator cover for the living room um and put like a mirror above it or something I d i'm not sure but yeah i'm gonna do that for the kitchen i do need to pick up some frames for um the living room as well so you know where we've got the, the three frames in the living room of the black and white pictures of us and the kids i want to get three more for the other wall where i was going to do the paneling but i'm not anymore 
and then at least there's like something on the wall so yeah scrap the idea of the mirror on the wall i'm not going to do that <laughs> i'm just i've had got so many ideas running through my head i'm like i don't know what i'm going to do but yeah i'm just going to get three more of the frames i think i got them from home bargains originally and i also need to pick up an order from primark i'm going to have a primark reel coming up on my instagram so go give that a look by the time this video is out that'll be up i've managed to get some lovely bits actually some like little like leopard print red some shoes some accessories like a little bit of mixture of things so i'm gonna film that hopefully today when i get home and that's just going to be like unbagging the primark haul and then i'll do the try on like in a few days time anyway let's go and get some paneling and hopefully this time i'll actually do it and i'll be happy with the results It's just an inserted clip of the panelling because I forgot to film doing it and everything else. But this wall obviously before was just like a plain white wall. So I think we've done a pretty good job. The only things I actually struggled with was these bits. But do you know what? It is what it is. And I'm going to get some... So I've got some frames, which I am going to put above there. I need to get some pictures. I'm going to get a radiator cover for here to put some little, like, nice flowers on and stuff. Um, and I don't know, I'll probably maybe sort these bits out at some point. But, yeah, we managed to get it done, which is the main thing. And the colour is Egyptian cotton. So here it looks quite grey, but when the sun's actually in the kitchen, it's more of a neutrally creamy colour. Um... But yeah, you can all that bit there as well. I've got paint there by accident. I'll just paint over it in white. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. It just makes the kitchen just look a lot more done and cosier. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to insert this clip because I literally forgot to film it. <laughs> Hello, it's the next day now. It's, what day is it? Monday. It's 10 to 3. I wish I could watch a little Where's Emmy's feet? Emmy, are you daydreaming? Emmy? Where's Emmy's teeth? Where's your teeth? Where's Emmy's... Where's Emmy's ears? So we've come sunflower picking to Farmer Copley's because it's mine and Jamie's anniversary today but we have obviously got the kids because it's the holidays so we thought let's do something nice as a family so we've come to Farmer Copley's and it's nice and quiet. It's a little bit windy but the sun keeps popping out which is nice. We've got little miss walking along. Oh what are these? Flower is the only flower with the word flower in its name. Corn, no, cornflower as well, mummy. It's cornflower as well. Yeah, but it's spelt differently. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know that. Hi. Hi. Hand. 
with his hand. Say hello. <laughs> Mm. What have you got? Mm. You've got a scone. We've got all the things as well. We've got them all in here. Hello, so we've been to Farmacopolis. It was so nice. The sunflower field was really cute and there were loads of little like photo opportunity like bases and loads of sunflowers obviously to pick. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. The kids absolutely loved it. Emmy was literally in her element. She was just walking around and wanting to get all the flowers. And yeah, it was really, really nice. So we went there and then we went to the little, it's called the Moo Cafe. And it's really like good pub food, you know, like steak pies and chunky chips and all that kind of stuff. So I just got a jacket potato which I was really scared about because I am so fussy with jacket potatoes. Like if they're not crispy on the outside and really soft on the inside, I literally can't eat it. So I was a bit worried, but because I had, um, I basically, so I had a tooth out yesterday and oh my God, the pain was excruciating. I mentioned it on my stories on Instagram, but wow. So, when she was like taking the tooth out, like obviously I had a needle to numb it, but when she began, like when she began taking it out, I was like, no, no, the pain. And I have a really high pain threshold. With, well, I like to think I do, but I am not joking. Anyone that's had a tooth out, like I don't know your experience because like I know people's different, but childbirth is half the pain of what having my tooth out was yesterday like it was literally horrendous that was literally horrendous like i it took my breath away so she injected me with like a numbing thing and then she did like a different one because i said that wasn't working but it wasn't the actual pain of it coming out it was the sensitivity so where she, oh Sorry, it's actually making me go funny thinking about it. Like, that made me go funny then. Oh, I just got to this. When she was, like, pushing down on it, like, why can't I say it? Like, I've told this story to people already, but saying it now, it's making me cringe. The feeling was, like, you know when you put, like, oh, <laughs> I'm actually being pathetic now. Um, you know, if you say you put tinfoil on a, on a filling, or you put ice on a sensitive part of a tooth times that by a million and the pain was that it was freaking awful it was absolutely unbearable so anyway obviously she said to me i'm gonna have to do it i'm gonna have to refer you yeah, and i was like please don't refer me because i need i need to get it out like it needs to come out so she took it out and the guy the dental assistant was telling me to wiggle my toes through the pain so I was wiggling my toe wiggling my toes holding on to the armrest squeezing it and obviously then it was done but like the adrenaline after like I was shaking like mad and you know that feeling when you've given birth and you're just so relieved it's over but you're so happy it was the same feeling I was literally like oh oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so dramatic like that is literally how I reacted um, but yeah, anyway, that was not why I came on to talk to you, but that came up. I had my tooth out. But the reason for me saying that is because I was umming and ahhing what to eat today for my dinner because I still can't open my mouth wide. Like, my jaw is, like, in agony. So i can't get a burger or something that i really need to get my mouth into so i got a jacket potato and i was just like trying to like shove it in my mouth but yeah it was really really nice and the boys just got like the little children's meal thing that they do with the sandwiches and stuff and then emmy was just chomping on a scone and had some of my jacket potatoes some of jamie's pie and had a finger in everything and then we just popped into the farm shop after and we got some milkshakes because you could make your own milkshakes and they look really nice so just dropped them all off at home and i've grabbed my parcel and now i'm gonna 
Um, now I'm gonna run into Primark now because I can literally park outside. So I'm gonna run into Primark, take that back, get home, get home for about just before five, give the kids a bath, jammers. And yeah, relax. Uh, I thought I'd just give you an update. The sunflower picking was cute. And then the next time we will be back, at that same place we'll be pumpkin picking oh my god i can't wait there were already some pumpkins you could see like in the field um and like the little signs that they were getting ready to obviously put up and stuff but yeah oh my god as soon as september comes i'm just so excited oh as soon as september comes that's it it's autumn isn't it basically right i'm gonna park here get my little butt into Primark and straight back out again it's literally here around the other side Primark so let's go